Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick, cool little uh, Scream Factory unboxing here for you. This is a Vice Squad, which is a new collector's edition from Scream Factory. Um, I had before this was announced, I'd never even heard of this this film. Um, I recognized some of the names, of the people in it. Uh, Season Hub Hubley or Hubley. She was in Hardcore. I just watched that a few months ago, and I recognized the name of um, Gary Swanson and Wings Howers Hauser, but I don't know what the hell I've seen them in. But uh, I had never heard of this film before. Um, I ordered this back in, shit, I don't know, July, June, whenever it was announced, I guess, and I was just kind of in the mood to order some more Screen Factories. Um, I'm not really sure if I'd like this film. I guess I'm going to find out. Let me take this plastic off. It's really glary. Um, but yeah, I got this in today. It's it's uh, it's Saturday. Uh, the Saturday before release, so it's the, the what, the 10th? Yeah, it's the 10th. I kind of like the image though, it's a nice um, color scheme. Who did the artwork on this one? Did it say? Joel Robinson, of course. Joel Robinson and Devin, whatever, Whitehead, I think his name, are the two main guys. Oh, this is package two. Okay. Actually, I got the, the, what do you call it, the poster too. I don't know if I should take this out or not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it's the same image, I guess. So, um, so yeah, here's the slip cover and the, uh, the uh, Amory case by itself. The uh, looks like it's exactly the same, actually. Let's take a look at the special features and stuff. It's a new 4K scan of the original film elements. New audio commentary with director Gary Marsh. Uh, excuse me, Gary Sherman, and producer Brian Frankish. New interviews with uh, the actors. Looks like, and uh, the um, producer directors. Uh, and new location featurette, as well as some commentaries from previous releases. Theatrical trailer, TV spots, radio spot, the usual stuff, and still gallery, which... Do people look at still galleries? I know they add those in there, but I don't think I've ever looked at a still gallery in my life, except maybe in the first rounds of DVDs I bought back in the early 2000s. Um, so this is from 1982. From Studio Canal, Screen Factory, rated R, in color. And it says Region A, and I think all Screen Factories are Region A. I don't think that they're region free or anything. So there's that. Oh, I didn't read the synopsis. Let's do that first. Uh, sensationally brutal, well-written, beautifully photographed. We'll see about the well-written part, but uh, pretend maybe it's brutal, I don't know. Season Hubley stars as Princess, a single mom by day, a Hollywood prostitution, wait, oh, excuse me, a Hollywood prostitute by night. A volatile cop, Tom Walsh, uses her to trap a sadistic pimp named Ramrod, who murdered one of her friends. But when Ramrod escapes police custody, Princess is in grave danger. No matter which way she turns, Ramrod is coming for her. Walsh and the entire police force are out looking for to catch him. Tonight, the neon slime will be on full display, and the city of Los Angeles will explode with furious vengeance and violence. Well, damn. Looks like he's a little hurt there. He's got a phone. This, the windshield's broken. She's in a wedding dress. I mean, God, look at this. It's just crazy. It looks familiar, honestly. I've probably seen him before. I don't know. All right, let's open this up. I got my... Is this, uh, this case looks like it's like one of the more new cases. I can't tell. I know I've talked about that before, but it's whatever. No, it's the same thing. Is it? It's fine. And there's this, the discard, which is the same as the cover art. There is some reverse art. Whoa, shit. Losing shit. That's a bit more plain, but that's fine. I like that. It's red on black. On the street, the real trick is staying alive. <clears throat> it says it down here, too. Uh, I personally would probably like to have a comma after street, but, you know, whatever. Directed by Gary A. Sherman. Hmm. This looks kind of familiar, this cover, so maybe I've seen it before at some point. I mean, the cover, anyway. See, so yeah, that's it. Let me, should I take out the... Well, I guess I should take a look and see, make sure it's not damaged. They're usually not damaged now that they're in these nicer cases with the tops on them. They used to have like bigger, thicker ones, or thinner ones, and not, and just bend the things back so they stick out, and they didn't have these uh, covers on them, or what do you call it, slips on them, so they just fall around, so. The corners look all right. Yeah. And there's the artwork. Looks fine. Yeah. Like I said, since they started doing this, I don't think I've had a single 
um, poster get fucked up, so. Cool. Let me do this. Come on now. There we go. Put this here. Okay, whatever. Cool. Look at that. It's sort of on there. <laughs> Look at that. You can kind of see it. So what, what am I even doing? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to try to watch this this weekend. I don't know if I have a chance to. But um, uh, I'm not going to post this until Monday, so you're not going to know. But um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I guess I don't have anything else to say. Like I said, I don't know anything else about the film. So Vice Squad. Um, like I said, I didn't know anything about it. But I am going to watch it. And I did buy it, of course. This was 20 I'm assuming I think it was 28 bucks. They're typically... The new um, collector's editions are 28 bucks around there. I'm looking forward to the to Screen Factory posting all their newer the Comic Con uh, movies that they announced back well, back in Comic Con uh, that are coming out this year. They already posted Road Games, I think it's called Road Games, on their site. Although I, if I'm being honest, I don't love that artwork, but you know, I still want to see it with Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, Stacey Keach. But anyway, I'm battling. Who cares? Thanks for watching, guys. I've got more things to unbox and show you anyway, so I will see you again later, and peace out, bye.